Hi, I'm Gary White for Channel 6 Central Kentucky Television, and I'm here with Talur Schlosser, who is Marion County School Superintendent, for an update on the Marion County School System and what's been going on. And as we're recording this, it's getting close to the end of the school year. That's right. Uh, today, we, we talked about that at our leadership team meeting, Gary. We have 29 days left for students, if you count today. Some people don't count today, some people do. <laughs> So it's getting to the end. It is getting to the end. So we will actually end on a Thursday. Staff will be out Friday. And so graduation will be the Saturday of Memorial Day. Uh, the board decided it will be at 10 a.m. in the Roby Dome. Okay. So the last date for school is the 21st then? Um, or somewhere in there, that Thursday right before It is Memorial. that week. It's the Thursday before Memorial Day. And so I apologize for not having the, uh, the specific date, but it'll be that Thursday before Memorial Day. Staff will actually have closing day on that Friday, and then we'll have graduation that morning. Okay, great, on that Saturday. So everybody can kick off the holiday weekend and have some fun. Absolutely, and it, it does make it uh, pleasant as far as heat. You never know how warm the gym's going to be. So at 10 a.m. it hasn't gotten too warm in there. And then it does give families, uh, Gary, an opportunity to do some, some graduation parties and photos and things like that. And then that night they'll come back and they'll do project graduation. <laughs> So as we are getting down to the end of the school year, we want to talk about some newsy stuff that's going on as well. And one of the things is last time, I believe, when we talked, we had said that there was a missing school board member. Yes. Because Amy, who has been elected, wasn't able to fill that seat. So can you tell us what's, what's happened there? Yes, I was notified last week or the week before last of spring break from the Department of Education that a board member had been appointed, appointed uh, Mr. David Cox. Uh, has been appointed for that vacant seat. He actually participated in his first board meeting last Thursday. And so he's, you know, hitting the ground running. He's been in the office, met with some central office folks, um, is attending some training with the Kentucky School Board Association. So yes, we now have five members of our board. <laughs> and his position is until an election can be held, right? Yes, so once uh, August rolls around, uh, he or any other member of that voting district can apply to run for a school board. And then at that point, the, you know, the election will take place in November. You are correct. Okay, so he'll be in that position until at least November till election day yes. uh, for that. But other people can apply to run as well if they yes. so choose in that yes. district. Yes. Okay, now also you have an event coming up in the next week or so as well, that you, an annual event that you have with the schools, right? right? Uh, next Thursday, and that's April the 25th at Center Square, we are having our spring summit. And basically it's an opportunity for our students to present on all the great things going on in Marion County Pub Public Schools, specifically our six big dreams. I think it's great for the uh, community and the parents and teachers to actually see the progress that we've been made. Uh, for example, like Chromebooks. I mean, we started out several years ago with with hardly any of those in the district and now our district is is pretty much one-to-one -one. we have lots of Chromebooks and and children have access to technology doesn't ever 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 replace the teacher but it's a great thing and it all spurred and grew out of our spring summit years ago so it's just a great way to update folks but also what I like about it Gary is that we actually sit around a table and we actually ask for feedback so we want to know from the community and business and uh, business and industry and teachers what is it that you foresee that Marion County Public Schools uh, should do or should continue to do to ensure that our students are success ready. And it is a summit, it's, it's an actual board meeting as well, correct? Is it hard? No, it, it is not a board meeting. It is just, okay, so it's just a summit, just yes. a, a convening, it, yes. For the community to get together and kind of give feedback. So it will be open to members of our community here in Marion County. Yes. Then you just need to call an RSVP with Teresa Preston. Okay. And you've been doing that, how, many, how long has that been going on? Um, this is the fifth year of the summit and okay. six years of our big dreams. Okay. So. so six years for the six dreams. Yes, right? six years, yeah. We, right. we maybe should, we need a poster for that, right? <laughs> now, also, uh, as we mentioned, the school is coming to a close 
not too long, a month or so. And you have some stuff going on during the summer, though, as well, that you can tell us. Yes, we are going to continue with our Summer Dream Academy. Parents will be and families will be mailed home a booklet that talks about all the different op opportunities. We should have over 30 different activities for kids uh, from kindergarten through high school, everything from getting ready from kindergarten to activities at the Area Technology Center to partnering with the arts as well. So lots of different opportunities. We like to mail those home so everyone has an opportunity to check those out. Uh, sometimes you can even uh, plan some things you want to do with your family around those uh, opportunities and activities. The Dream Bus will be running again. Mm -hmm. We will be making two stops a day. Uh, we'll have those locations on there as well. We will have our summer feeding program as normal. Uh, the central location will be Lebanon Elementary, but we'll, we will also have that printed in our book as well. So anyone that would love to come out and grab a uh, summer feeding meal, we're going to have those available. Uh, Gary, we traditionally serve around 13 to 15,000 meals in partnerships with mm -hmm. lots of folks. If, if your organization is interested in providing a summer meal, uh, there is a training that's required. Please call here and ask to speak with Jennifer Wheeler. She'll be happy to get you signed up for that training, and it's a great way to provide a meal for kids. Fantastic. And again, that's some information you can get from here at the school board. Now also, uh, we've been talking for the last few times too about the planning for facilities in the community. And can you tell us the status of that? Well, we're, we're currently on hold. Uh, at the, our last meeting, we did hold that at Marion County High School, and it, there was a public forum in conjunction with the committee meeting. Um, after the public forum and with some discussion with the committee, it was decided that we would uh, table a decision to move forward with presenting something to the board members to vote on, to actually gather some more information. There were some questions about things like student enrollment versus the school superintendent average uh, attendance report. Um, there was also some questions about the cost of buildings. Our architect is actually required to use a certain number, but then there's some questions out there about what would those numbers or could those numbers actually come in for. And so there's just some things like that. We want to make sure that we have a very clear picture of that because once the committee makes a decision, that plan will go to our board members and then they will either adopt that plan or they could send that back to the committee uh, for additional work. So I think last time too we were saying that there was a plan that went to the state. The state had to approve it as well, right? And yes, so they did. Approve they did. They did approve that plan. So that plan was actually reviewed with the committee. So the question will be: Will we move forward with that plan, or would there be a different plan in place? Um, in the event that the plan that has been reviewed by the Department of Education, if that were to change then that plan would then go back to the Department of Education for their review. So there's lots of checks and balances in this process. Right. And how was the feedback from the community? Was it, was it positive, negative? What was, what was kind of your take on the plan and how it was perceived by the members of the community? Uh, there was a large group of folks there. Um, I'm going to say half the cafeteria. Uh, a lot, lots of folks requesting that Calvary Elementary remain Calvary Elementary and that uh, Marion County Public Schools would move forward with four elementary schools versus three elementary schools. Um, so, you know, and then there were other folks there. There were a few folks that talked about the need of the high school. Um, a couple folks, you know, indicated that this is a, a large, uh, you know, a large district facilities plan. So I, I by no means want to leave anybody out or say any of the wrong things, but there were several folks there that uh, were very passionate about um, Calvary Elementary. Now, for the funding for this, this we had did have the recallable nickel, and that monies became available for that. It was matched from the state, is that correct? 
Yes, it was at a rate of 25%. And so then what we are waiting for is this biennium when Frankfurt meets uh, to discuss a budget, we are hoping for additional matching funds. Uh, the recallable nickel, this makes the, our fourth year of collecting that tax. That tax is, that money is still uh, just just waiting. Uh, so none of that is, uh, none of that has been spent. So we're just waiting on this new district facilities plan. Because the money is, can only be used on facilities, that's right? That is right. correct. Um, any um, revenue collected just for building can only be used for a building. And there's a, there's a com, you know, it's completely transparent, completely checks and balances. You know, if that's something somebody wants to see, we're, we're very open to that. But we've not built anything, none of the money has been spent, and we would actually have to sell bonds to do that. And the matching funds, do you get them, like they were approved this past time with the legislature, but do you actually get them at that point or do you have to wait until you start building? Could you possibly lose out on that if you don't build before? The only thing, Gary, that we have a possibility of losing out on is we do have a SFCC offer that basically they are going to, they have said here's $400,000 and we need to sell those bonds by February the 1st. So that's $400,000. Um, we could lose out on that if we do not find some type of project to use just that money on. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as losing out, um, we, we're not gonna lose out on anything or any match because they've, they've promised okay. to do that. Uh, but there are bonds that do expire and that must be uh, processed by a certain date. So that's an update on some of the stuff going on with the Marion County school system. A lot happening, a lot to keep you up to date on. <clears throat> and as we said, it's going to be the end of school is coming up towards the end of May. Right, yes. The, the last week of May will be the last week of school for uh, Marion County, and we will be out before Memorial Day. So once Memorial Day weekend comes along, Marion County Public Schools will be out, and then we'll have about, I'm going to say, um, about 11 weeks of, of summer break, and our first day will be that first full week of August. And uh, really excited about our Summer Dream Academy. Uh, lots of folks give 110% to make sure that kids have access and opportunity over the summer. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. This has been Gary White with Tillora Schlosser, Marion County School Superintendent, here on Channel 6, Central Kentucky Television.